Hi to my friends and welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo 3. This is Sky Hurricane and in this part we're going to get back into our PT Cruiser. And uh, we actually did some minor tuning this. We bought a computer chip and uh, did weight reduction stage 1 and uh, like one of the first parts. And you can see the power to weight ratio. But we're fixing to change that. We're fixing to try to do some heavy duty tuner, tuning to this. And the first thing I want to do is get the turbo kit. Now I believe it's going to be a lot cheaper. It's not going to bring up power as much as the NA tune would. So that's 243. But it's only 13,000 credits. Whereas this is 70,000. And it's only like 14 more horsepower or so. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the turbo kit stage too. Yeah, we're going to... Put this, uh, put this baby to the test. Don't want any of that. I don't know if I want to get stage three yet, because it's pretty expensive. Definitely want to get tires, and I don't know if I want to get the racing hard tires, because I know I could use those for other things, or the racing medium, which are ten thousand more. The racing medium would be better. For a lot of the races I'm going to be doing coming up. So yeah, it's hard to say. But let's see what else we can do. Yeah, I definitely want to clip sit the triple plate. Help acceleration. <laughs> it seems really awkward to me because I've never really used the uh, PT Cruiser. So... Interested to see what it can do. I'm not transmission. Yeah, I think I'll need this because some of the races that we'll be doing, I'm not gonna worry about limited slip. Some of the races we'll be doing, um, oh wow, 267. Whoa, we'll uh, have the test course as a race. So. Yeah, 282. Only 15 more horsepower. Really not. Really not worth it, I don't think. Yeah, 295. So 295 horsepower. Yeah, this isn't. Yeah, it would get 310. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be a challenge to win with, I gotta say. Definitely get sports brakes. We're pretty much getting almost everything for this, though. Definitely want to be able to adjust the suspension. And we'll have enough for racing medium tires. Yeah, and I guess the only thing we won't have gotten is a uh, weight reduction stage 3. And almost 7,000 credits left. So let's look at our power right ratio now. Huh. The RPMs went up to 5100 as max now. Yeah, 3.83. Wow. Went up quite a bit. Alright, well, let's see what this baby can do. So we'll go back to the beginner league. And... We're going to be bursting, oh yeah, Stars and Stripes, Grand Championship, American Power at its finest. You actually win 3500 for each of these races. But you have to have, have, to have an American car here. So any of these. And let's try this. I haven't tested this or anything. This may be overly difficult. So I really don't know. And... No, dare I mess with any of this or not? I could try it the way I did in Gran Turismo 2. Let's bring that down. Let's not bring it out too much, though. Spring rates. Make the rear stronger.
make this turn in a little better. Next, then we'll lower these. Okay. Very similar to how doing Grand Tours will too. I don't know if it really will work as good for this game, but uh. So how about the gear ratio? It doesn't say my top speed right now. So I really don't know. This uh this track what we're doing is not gonna really And yeah, let's lower the Ace SM a little bit. And TCS as well. I do wanna have them, I just don't want them to be as high. Okay. Ooh, look at that. We got a Cobra and a Viper and a Corvette ZL6. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> We're driving a PT Cruiser. <laughs> well, they, they still have more horsepower than I do, even when I'm tuned. The Viper has like 440 horsepower stall. At least we're able to kind of keep up with them. Oh wow, y'all are slow, man, on this curve. Slow. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy, I think. And this actually has six gears now. I don't think it had six gears. Oh wow. I thought I was going to hit that. I really did. Oh, I can't drive. Come here, Cobra. It seems like, I don't know, pretty hard to tell if this really steers much better than not, even with the tires and such. Oh wow, I'm definitely going to have to spread the gears out, though. That ain't any faster than what it went before. Hard to know, you know, because that the graph doesn't really help you any. still winning. <laughs> PT Cruiser, man. See, yeah, we should win, let's say, 3,500 times four, that's 14,000 credits. So that's actually some decent money that we'd use for something. like this thing still understeers even with my suspension modifications. Racing medium tires. It's probably tuned up enough now to where it can handle the uh, amateur FF challenge. Certainly doable though. Oh yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was pretty much domination. Come on, Camaro SS. Yeah, 3,500. Very nice. All right, let's go on to the next race. Now, definitely old Super Speedway. Yeah, we'll definitely want to spread our gears out for this one. Most certainly. We don't have the Cobra again. It's hard to really know. Um, I like the other Grand Tours mode that would tell you like your max speed, what it would be. So I'm guessing that might be around 140, maybe. We'll see. We'll see soon. Cause I'm sure we'll rate it on this. <laughs> Come on, Camaros. Yeah, I bet these cars here aren't tuned up at all. You know, which they don't really need to be. So I was guessing 140. I think I'm going to be close. Yeah, very close. Got this. Chrysler PT Cruiser. We'll probably reach barely 140. So yeah, probably wouldn't. Probably 145. 100. Between 140 and 145, definitely probably wouldn't reach 150 for maximum. Corvette took the lead. If I should lower that ASM or not, I do have it lower than what it was on default. But <laughs> oh, PT Cruiser. Yeah, I don't know really how much I'll be using this car, though, for the remainder of this. It's definitely working all right for the beginning. A lot of these championships I've never done. And I don't know if I've even done the Stars and Stripes one in the past. But yeah, that definitely works. Another 3,500. All right. Yeah, I would say our gear ratios are probably fine. Laguna Seca. So let's see here. I'm going to lower these. I'm going to change the settings just a little more.
Alright, I don't know. They might be excessive there. We'll see. We got a Mustang this time. Good old Laguna Seca. I think this is our first time racing on this. Of course, we've seen it in the, uh, what you call it, the license test. Yeah, I definitely don't have to worry about this thing oversteering because it does not do it. Yeah, some front wheel drives and uh, you have to worry about making them oversteer, but not this one. I guess it's just so front heavy. Yeah, yeah, if you get off the road on this track, um, unlike in Gran Turismo 2, you really suffer for it. You know, you lose speed. It's probably more realistic, I would say. Welcome to another race of me dominating. It's so awesome. Oh wow, did somebody slide off the road there? It looked like it. Corvette. Pretty funny that we got faster on Laguna Seca than what we did uh on Super Speedway, you know, at the very beginning of this, when we first bought this car, when it wasn't tuned. So we only got up to like 114 on that. Got up to 120 on this track. Pretty easy, but the next thing I plan to do will not be so easy. I can tell you right now, it will not be at all. It will actually probably be a pretty big challenge for this. Yeah, this definitely seems to corner better. Never could shake them though. Corvette. He might have been the one that ran off the road. Yeah, let's watch our beautiful car in action. It's the uh, Viper and the Corvette and the Mustang and the Camaro. PT Cruiser, man. Wow. I'm impressed. What it can do. Who would have ever imagined, you know? Yeah, I really like the way they redid Laguna Seca in this game. Actually looked like a mirage or something. Like his heat, you know? 
Of course, uh, Laguna Seca is in the desert. Think of California. Yep. Pretty nice. One more race, I think. Seattle circuit reversed. This should be interesting. Maybe. Oh, we got the Cobra again. this track huh. the license says here man yeah you never know this track reversed in a uh, Gran Turismo 2 you could but uh, I never encountered it in my playthrough I think I encountered every other track reversed then. this curve come here Cobra oh I can't drive my goodness dang he's so fast Yeah, this thing is really still understeers. I mean, I think what I've done to it has made it a little less likely, but still. Oh wow, the Cobra messed up. Cobra. Thing dead lane as good as that GT40 race car. <laughs> oh, golly. You know, I actually think that uh, you could put one, yeah, well, I know you can. You could put one set of tires on the front, one set of tires on the rear. So it might be what I want to. You know, if I use this for an endurance race or something, that's probably what I'd do. I'd put the uh, hard on the front, put the rear, or put the medium on the back. The brakes are definitely good on this thing. You know, is this game even in Gran Turismo 2? I mean, this car, I don't know what I just said. Is this car even in Gran Turismo 2? I don't think it is. Yeah, in Gran Turismo 2, you don't even really ever have to wash your cars because it looks like they never get dirty. I guess if you used them all the time, you know, even when you do rally races, it's funny, they don't look dirty afterwards. They should, oh, a cone, wow. How'd that cone get all the way up there? Did I do that? <laughs> I don't remember doing it, but I may have. Dang, Cobra, what happened? Well, well, well. Well, they got us up to 20,000. That's still not enough, though, for uh, the weight reduction stage three for this. No PT Cruiser. Just a cruising.
7.46 seconds. And I'd like to get a good spa where it's going. Buy some of the other cars. I really like the way Seattle looks in this. It really looks nice. Really does look nice. There we do. We catch it. <laughs> there it goes. Won't be passable there, but. Cobra hit the wall, so did I. Oh gosh. Well, for winning all four of those races, we get a Oh, Camaro. Now this definitely is the best car that I have. In my garage now. Definitely is. So another thing I could do is the uh, turbo race of turbo sports. You actually get five thousand for this. So since we did put a turbo kit on this, we could do it. But yeah, let's look at our Camaro stats here. Three hundred twenty-six horsepower. Four point seven eight five power weight ratio. Whereas this has a 3.817. Alrighty, my friends, I think this is a good stopping point. I am going to wash my PT Cruiser, though. It wasn't really totally dirty, but uh, thank y'all very much for watching. And next part, I think we're going to do the turbocharged cup. So, hope to see y'all there. It's been Sky Hurricane. Hope you have a super awesome, blessed day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.